With 2020 corporate IT plans in tatters, how should CIOs and IT decision makers now figure out their list of priorities when it comes to helping their organizations to respond, recover and thrive in the post-pandemic era? Let's get started. What's up everyone? My name is Joe Feaser and I am the OG, office guy. So if you have checked out any of my previous videos you will know that I have been in the office products industry for over 36 years. A new reality, rebuilding the corporate IT strategy. While most executive leadership teams started 2020 with a good business plan, the COVID-19 pandemic's outbreak in the first quarter has prompted them to reevaluate their priorities for the year and beyond. Now is the time to rethink strategy, establish resilience, and begin making the types of decisions that will help businesses recover and rejuvenate, all while operating within tight capital budget limitations. According to Chris Howard, distinguished VP analyst at IT market research firm Gartner, the magnitude of the challenge ahead cannot be emphasized. He claims that there's been a reset of the workforce and of work itself, a reset of the employer-employee relationship and a reset of the business ecosystem, he says. The pandemic has wiped away the strategy for some leaders, but they've also garnered invaluable experience. Now, it's time to bring together the executive team and use those lessons to reconfigure their business and operating models for a new reality. CIOs and IT decision makers, ITDMs, can expect to be included in those talks. They may also have the chance to lead them at times. After all, during the early weeks of the COVID-19 outbreak, IT teams went to great pains to allow workers to work remotely, and their efforts have been rewarded. Expectations for the IT function to continue to make a significant contribution to business continuity and resilience are now higher than ever. Simultaneously, IT teams will be tasked with identifying and delivering the innovations that will ensure their firms get the most out of new digital opportunities and do not emerge from the crisis behind their more agile competitors. To put it another way, technology is widely predicted to play a key role in the recovery from COVID-19. It's a tough order, but CIOs and ITDMs throughout the world are already preparing for it. They're re-evaluating their IT strategic goals to determine which projects and procedures should be prioritized and which should be delegated, as well as marshalling their teams to enable and embrace new, more agile working habits. Before we take a look at the five strategic priorities for IT leaders, now would be a great time to hit the subscribe button. Also, click on the bell if you would like to be notified when we drop new videos. Thank you for that. In light of this, how should CIOs and ITDMs approach the role of IT strategic planning, formulating creative answers to new challenges and possibilities, at a time when many old plans and certainty have been swept away? The most effective will concentrate on the following areas. We will start with number one, remote working. As previously said, IT staff did an excellent job of facilitating the project. In the early weeks of the epidemic, there was a widespread move to working from home. The stage is now prepared for widespread hybrid working in the future. Employees who divide their time between home and work as well as elsewhere. Giving employees a first-class remote working experience, regardless of the time or location, will necessitate an investment in the devices and collaboration tools they use to complete tasks. To avoid connectivity issues that affect their productivity, networking needs will need to be addressed. It will be critical to address security concerns and vulnerabilities. Also, the availability and quality of support that remote workers can get from IT help desks needs to be reassessed. In a recent study of more than 150 CIOs from 10 European nations done by management consultant PwC Strategy N, nearly three quarters, 72%, indicated it took less than three days to get their organizations functioning from home successfully when COVID-related lockdowns began. However, in many circumstances, the quick fixes and remedies used in the midst of a crisis are unlikely to be long-term or cost-effective in a future where significantly more workers work remotely on a regular, continuous basis. CIOs and ITDMs have a significant opportunity here to figure out the optimal model for remote working in the future. If you need tips on working from home, click the link above to check out my Remote Work Tips 2021 video. Now let's move to number two on the list, digital channels. Some of the organizations that have fared the best throughout the COVID-19 crisis are those who already had robust digital channels in place, allowing clients to continue connecting with them during the lockout. Take, for example, US retail giant Target, for its 2022 quarter, 
Announced in mid-August, the company posted overall sales growth of 24% year-on-year and a stunning 194% rise in digital sales. Others have rushed to strengthen their digital platforms in the hopes of filling at least some of the void created by the lack of face-to-face interaction with customers. More study on these will be a priority in the future, since COVID-19 appears to be destined to leave an indelible and dramatic impression on consumer behavior and purchasing habits in the long run. To keep internet visitors flowing to those channels, digital marketing activities will certainly need to be reassessed as well. According to Gartner's 2020 CMO Spend survey, many marketers believe the mass shift to digital and social media will extend into 2021, with nearly two-thirds of brands predicted to increase their digital channel budgets in the next year. It's also worth noting that this isn't simply a problem for B2C, business-to-consumer, stores. For example, financial services organizations have witnessed a significant increase in activity on their digital platforms from both retail and business consumers. Digital channels have also played a significant role in business-to-business, B2B, activities, allowing enterprises to continue making sales, provide post-sales customer service and support, and interact with supply chain partners to smooth out bumps in disrupted delivery schedules. Automation and remote monitoring is number three on the list. Distancing rules in social situations may be there for a long period. Many industrial locations, from manufacturing floors to power plants, may require fewer personnel, freeing up more space for those who must be present to accomplish critical duties. This will give the already trendy issues of Industry 4.0 and the Internet of Things a boost in 2020. IoT. Staff can monitor and manage assets from a safe distance when these workstations are fitted with smart sensors that report on the status of machinery and other equipment and can receive instructions remotely. Software can automate manufacturing and inspection processes according to pre-programmed rules and policies, and big data analytics technologies like artificial intelligence, AI, can identify and, in many situations, solve performance issues in machinery, so fewer humans may be required. In the context of a crisis like COVID-19, the role of Industry 4.0 becomes even more critical, write the authors of a recent McKinsey report on post-COVID manufacturing operations. Players utilizing digital solutions are better positioned to weather the storm, having moved faster and further than their peers during the crisis. As companies think about restoring operations and building the muscle to deal with future crises, using digital technologies will be top of mind for many. CIOs and ITDMs have long collaborated closely with engineering teams on Industry 4.0 focused transformation projects at industrial enterprises throughout the world. They are likely to be given with further opportunities to improve their strategic contribution in the post-COVID era. Let's discuss upgrades, which is number four on the list. When the pandemic initially broke out, many IT projects and budgets were placed on hold, allowing teams to focus on more critical issues. Routine upgrades and non-urgent infrastructure improvements, on the other hand, cannot be put off indefinitely. They may even be required for the successful implementation of other initiatives such as remote working, digital channels, and automation, remote monitoring. However, if IT leaders examine that core infrastructure with a fresh eye and a current understanding of what it will need to support in the future, they are likely to find considerable consolidation, optimization, and right-sizing opportunities, suggests Steve Bates, global leader of the CIO Center of Excellence at management consultancy KPMG International. Many companies are actively managing cash flow and expenses just to survive. Instead of investing in upgrading older infrastructure and data centers, look to conserve capital and make the move to the cloud to satisfy near-term demand for digital services, he advises. In the hunt for the infrastructure hurdles that slow an organization down and cost it money, there should be no shortage of areas to target. Says Bates. We recommend some immediate levers to pull, such as, review and upgrade virtual machines, shut down and or right-size unused or underutilized compute instances, move to containers, move to PaaS, platform as a service, and move to optimal, cloud, pricing models for workloads, for example. Coming in at number 5 on the list is emerging tech. While more, blue sky, examinations into upcoming technologies may have taken a back seat during the COVID-19 crisis. Sensible CIOs and ITDMs recognize they can't afford to ignore the horizon completely. Who knows when or where the next major opportunity for market-disrupting differentiation will present itself. 
It's a good idea to look for developing technologies that have immediate value but also have the potential to enable new business models in the future. Technologies such as augmented reality and or computer vision help improve user experience and enable effective problem solving. IoT devices help customers get service from non-computing devices such as wireless speakers and can transmit field data in real time to support better decisions. Wireless tags and sensors can be used for asset tracking and field monitoring. Write the authors of a recent Gartner report, Coronavirus Outbreak, Short and Long-Term Actions for CIOs. What does the road ahead have in store for rebuilding the corporate IT strategy? The road out of the pandemic will be difficult for most organizations. There will be bumps in the road and detours along the way, but CIOs and ITDMs have a lot to contribute when it comes to charting a safe and effective path. They've already proven themselves to be masters and mistresses of prioritization, as well as professionals at balancing opposing demands on their time and attention. On the road ahead, those talents will be put to the test, and keeping a close watch on the to-do list will be necessary. As Steve Bates of KPMG advises, focusing on what is truly urgent, versus what is, important, will help sort out which requests are mission critical to core organizational functionality, he says. It's important to keep timing in mind, and to rank all of the work into what is most impactful and most urgent, both internally and externally. For example, in a time of reprioritization, consider wins on digital business transformation initiatives and the positive impacts they've had on core capabilities. Then there's the tricky issue of financing. Better customer experiences and innovative, technology-enabled business models may be key priority, but will they be backed up by adequate funding? PwC Strategy and SCIO survey suggests that, despite a high level of concern among CIOs around the impact of COVID-19 and its far-reaching effects, only 41% of organizations are planning to reduce IT costs as a result. Of course, this puts decision makers in the position of having to pick and choose where to invest and where to cut, but it's still a powerful declaration of faith in the ability of technology and the people who lead it to help their organizations respond, recover, and thrive in the aftermath of the pandemic. Hey everyone, if you found this video helpful please take a second to hit the like button to help the OG channel grow. If you would like to partner with the office guy fill out my new customer form below to learn how to discover the difference. As always thanks for watching this video, I am the OG, office guy.